Hey everybody. So the New Jersey Devils are one of the most talked about teams in the NHL right now for all the wrong reasons. And head coach John Hines has got to be feeling the heat given his team's start versus what the Devils were expected to be this year. Before we get into the video, I just quickly want to remind everyone to please hit that like button and give this video a thumbs up. That really helps out the channel a lot. And if you're new to the channel or not subscribed yet for whatever reason, please hit that subscribe button and follow along for all my hockey content this season. So the New Jersey Devils are 0-4-2 to start the 2019-2020 season. The only winless team left in the NHL, everyone else has won. Ottawa's won, LA's won, Minnesota's won. All the bad teams have won a game so far. Some of them have won two. And New Jersey still sits with a big, fat zero in the win column. Um, they also have a league-worst minus 16 goal differential, which is absolutely putrid this early in the season. They've given up 29 goals already in six games. Uh, that is downright awful. And they're struggling to score with only 13 goals, four in six games. Um, really nothing is going right for the Devils to start this year. Um, John Hines has really um, changed the line combinations up at multiple points throughout this season. Uh, nothing seems to be working. Nothing is fixing the problem. Um, it, it doesn't really seem to matter who plays with who. Things aren't going well. Um, certain players certainly have really, really underperformed to this point. Obviously, the expectations were really high for New Jersey heading into this season, given the offseason that they had. Bringing in P.K. Subban, bringing in uh, Wayne Simmons, drafting Jack Hughes at number one overall, bringing in Nikita Gusev from the Vegas Golden Knights, who lit up the KHL last year. These moves aren't really working out in favor of the Devils so far. It's obviously still very early, only six games in. P.K. Subban only has two points so far this season. Wayne Simmons only has one. Jack Hughes, first overall pick, has been held pointless through his first six games in the NHL. Um, Nikita Gusev has actually been okay as far as the Devils, uh, as far as Devils players go. He's got two goals already, so... Uh, that's actually not bad. That's tied for the team leading goals. Also, it's kind of a problem when you're six games in and your team leading goals is two. Uh, they're, they're not getting a whole lot of offense. Um, other players not doing a whole lot are uh, Sammy Votnin, two points only. He was you know, supposed to be an important def offensive defenseman for them. Damon Severson, only two points so far. Uh, Will Butcher only has one point. Um, it, it, in general, it's just been a really rough start in a lot of ways for the New Jersey Devils. But, and it doesn't get any better when you get to the goaltending. I'm going to switch over to the goaltending stats here and, oh my God, be prepared for some atrocious goaltending numbers from the Devils goalies. Now, go, heading into the season, goaltending was um, my main concern for this team. Uh, I did not trust the duo of Corey Schneider and Mackenzie Blackwood to to be a high-end goaltending pair and, and guys that could lead a team, you know, to, to a really win, high winning record. This was my one question with the Devils. Corey Schneider so far this year, 0-3, 876 save percentage and a 408 goals against average. Ugh, putrid, absolutely awful. 876 save percentage and a 408 goals against. But wait, it gets worse. Mackenzie Blackwood, 0-1-2, 821 save percentage. That's right. 821. That means he's only stopping 82% of the shots against him. Most goaltenders, granted, are over 900. They're 90% or better. Most goaltenders in the NHL are 90% or better save percentage. Mackenzie Blackwood, 82. Ugh. 
in a 4.90 goals against average. His goals against average is almost five. Yes, he's only started two, uh, two games and played in three. His goals against average is almost five. This is it's it's as bad as you can get in goal right now for the New Jersey Devils, and they may need to make a move. They may need to make a move. Um, obviously, it's not all on the goaltenders. The team in front of them are not playing well either, but that kind of goaltending is absolutely unacceptable and incredibly bad by NHL standards. So overall, it has been an abysmal start for the Devils, and they are the last team left that has not won a game. And some of it certainly falls back onto the coach on John, on John Hines. Um, some of it obviously falls onto the players because they're the ones who actually play the game. But at the end of the day, someone is if, if this continues, someone is going to take the fall. And 99% of the time in the NHL, it is the coach. So John Hines' seat has got to be boiling hot at this point. He better start wearing fireproof pants to work every day because his seat must be boiling hot right now. It's only Yes, it's only six games in. I think it's a little early to be firing the coach. I think you at least give him the month of October to, to try and get things headed in the right direction. But this is as bad a situation and as bad of a start as you could possibly have for the New Jersey Devils, especially given the offseason additions and the increase in, in expectations for this team. If this were the Ottawa Senators and everyone knew they were going to suck and no one expected anything from them and they started the season like this, it, you would be like, oh, I mean, we thought this was coming. This this was expected. But this is a team that people thought would be a playoff contending team, a team that would be significantly proved from where they were last season. And they have done nothing but go the other way so far to start this season. And some of the losses have been really bad, the losses that cannot happen. The two that really stick out in my mind were early, early, early in the season. They had a 4 nothing lead over the Winnipeg Jets and ended up losing the game 5-4. to I believe they did get a point out of that because it went to overtime. But they blew a 4 nothing lead to the Winnipeg Jets and ended up losing the game. And then just a few days ago, in their last game, a couple of days ago, they had a 4-1 to lead over the Florida Panthers and ended up losing the game six to four in regulation. Are you kidding me? You have a four to one lead and you don't even get a point out of the game. That is absolutely atrocious. There's plenty of blame to go all the way around here, but the coach has got to feel the brunt of this as, as well. And I mean, that's just, that is inexcusable. That is completely unacceptable to have two losses like that in your first six games. I get that sometimes things happen, teams blow leads, um, you know, just sometimes it's just one of those nights, but that is something that you want to happen at most, maybe one or two times all season long. A 4-1 to no, four one lead should be safe, a 4 to nothing lead should be safe, and if you're going to be a good team at the NHL, you are going to win those games 99.9% .9 of the time. You have to. You cannot be blowing leads like that. And that is something that at most maybe happens to a good team once or twice over the course of a full 82-game season where something just happens and they, they really blow it. This has happened to New Jersey already twice in their first six games, the first two weeks of the year. How many more leads are they going to blow this season and leave two more points on the table? It's just it's completely inexcusable. And, and the, you know, John Hines is the coach. It is his job to turn this around and get this team headed in the right direction. And if he doesn't do that, I think he's going to be out of a job very quickly here. Um, I think as far as the hot seats go, Hines is probably number one right now. Bruce Boudreaux is probably dropped down to number two just because of the lesser expectations in, in uh, Minnesota. Uh, but H Hines is getting very, very close to, I think, getting canned. And, and you know, he's got to do, do something to try and change this and turn this around. Yes, a lot of it's on the players. They're not playing well, but a lot of it's on the coach, too. And when you're the coach of an NHL team, you have got to find a way to get this team ready to play, prepared, um, playing at a high level, and, and out there fulfilling their potential. 
Um, and New Jersey has not once filled their, fulfilled their potential that yet this season. Uh, the goaltending has been horrendous. The defense has been horrendous. The offense is almost non-existent. Um, it's been all around atrocious for the New Jersey Devils this year. So I think Hines is running out of time. He's got to turn this around really quick or uh, he's, he is going to be out of a job, I think, very, very soon, as he should be given the expectations versus how this team is performing. And in, in a very interesting move today that you don't see very often, um, Tom Fitzgerald, the assistant general manager, has actually joined the coaching staff as an, kind of an assistant. You don't see guys coming down from upper management down to the coaching ranks very often in the NHL. Apparently, according to what I've heard, it was John Hines' decision to do this. Um, he, he's fully on board with this, but doesn't it almost feel like um, Hines might have just brought his replacement into the coaching staff? That's a very real possibility at this point. If Hines does get fired, at least Fitzgerald may end up being the interim coach before they find a full-time person. Um I just find that a very weird move, but I think the Devils are just looking for absolutely anything at this point to try and get a win and start turning this around. Um, they've they've got a game tomorrow night against division rival New York Rangers. That's a huge game at home for New Jersey. If they lose that game, oof, uh, it's it's not going to be good. They've got to get a win here and got to get a win here very quickly, or there are going to be. Uh, I think a big, big change coming for the for New Jersey because they've got to try and salvage this season. It's only six games in out of 82. They've still got time to turn this around. They've got to get this headed in the right direction. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.